in a previous video, I have showed you, how to make this addressable 7 segment display, using WS2812 BRGB LEDs. It has 2 LEDs per segment, and there is male and female connectors to connect multiple digits. Each digit can be addressable individually, and only one pin from the microcontroller requires to run any number of digits. Link to that video, is in the cards and in the description. This is a NeoPixel LED driver board, to control such displays, but there is more. It has a LDR to automatically change the brightness, depending on the ambient light. A DHT11 sensor for getting the current temperature, a push button, and an I2C port for adding any other sensor like DS3231 or MPU6050. It also has a barrel DC connector for external power supply. Connecting this to the display is as very simple. Just plug it in, using the header pins, connect the DC supply, and it's done. So, let's see how to make it. The PCB for this project is made by PCBWay.com, which is one of the largest professional PCB manufacturer from China. Only $5 for 10 prototyping PCBs is amazing. As you can see the build quality of the PCBs is fantastic. I ordered the boards in black color without any additional cost. If you want to get the same PCBs as mine, then check link in the description. Let's just assemble the board. I have used ESP8266, so that I can control the LEDs over the air. By the way, I have a small tindy store, where I sell this boards and some of my other projects. So if you like to support my work, you can purchase this from there. This will be very helpful, and I really appreciate your support. The board is semi-finished. Let's test it out. Here I have used a NeoPixel LED strip, and as you can see, it works like a charm. Since that works very well, so now, let's move on to the next part. I will use 4 digits, 2 for hour and 2 for minutes. But you can add 2 more for the second as well. Then I have used another segment, which I call dash, in between them. And finally the driver connects like this. Check the link in the description to download this code. First we need to include some libraries which are needed for this project. Then we define the pixel arrangement, which, I already explained in my other video. Depending on the displays that you have, you can either choose 6 or 4 digits, and the number of dashes as well. Then we define the button pin, DHT sensor pin, and the LDR pin. Then select the sensor type and hours format. and set the SSID and the password. We read the LDR value using analog red function, and map it to appropriate brightness value. Here we set the time format. When the button is pressed, it shows the temperature value. and this function shows the time. Let's upload the code, and see it in action.